Ventura County. Yep, Ventura County, California. I want to talk to people living in Ventura County, right? People in Ventura County that want to get in the game. Real estate newbies, right? I want to talk to you guys because... A lot of people in your situation are trying to get some rental properties, but you can't afford it, so you're looking outside of Ventura County for cash flow positive properties. If that's you, this show is catered to you. We're going to go over some strategies, some advice, some tips, some tricks, the whole shebang, as well as a real deal that people are actually investing in. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. This is the show for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work with you one on one today we are working with my man rafa ventura county truck driver right ventura county california solid blue collar career out of you brother you are a truck driver your wife is a teacher it don't get more salt to the earth and blue collar than that i've said this many times on the shows i specifically have an affinity for the blue collar truck drivers out there my dad and my grandpa both worked and work in that industry right i come from the blue collar business baby and i love i love watching blue collar people climb that plot property ladder increase their net worth increase their wealth through real estate right we get uh, a lot of people thinking you gotta be some rich cat to buy real estate you don't right i don't come from wealth but i was able to create wealth through real estate and i love helping people like you now rafa you got a specific situation though right you live in Ventura County, California, one of the most expensive places in America, right? California is super expensive. So as many people out there who I say can change their lives through real estate investing, even though they have modest salaries, it's very, very difficult if they're living in Ventura County like you do, right? So what you do is you look towards out-of-state markets, right? Cheaper markets. Holton Wise, we're headquartered in Cleveland, Ohio. Very cheap in Cleveland, Ohio, brother. And you've been working with me to help you and your wife build a real estate portfolio. And you saw this duplex on the market. And this duplex, brother, it's priced at 125k, like 124.9, right? And you're in Ventura County. You're looking at it with some Ventura County eyes, like holy crap, 124,900, two tenants. That's the cheapest property ever. I can't lose. That's where I come in. You can't look at stuff like this with your out-of-state eyes. You can't compare everything to Ventura County. Here's the situation with this one, Rafa. I looked at this many times. This, as I talk to you, bro, this is episode 1,328. I'm going to take you back to some footage from episode 618, right? Uh, you know, off the top of my head, what is that, like 600 shows ago? I analyzed this property, okay? I analyzed this property a couple times because a lot of people are interested in it. 600 shows ago, this property was priced about $30,000 cheaper, like $35,000 cheaper. At that time, it was a great deal at that price. Uh, and analyzed it for some investors. Sellers weren't having it, right? Uh Full priced offer, I think we even put an above priced offer, stuff like that, right? With multiple investors, right? Uh, throughout the time that this property's been on and off the market, multiple people have sent this to me because it was a great deal back then. And the sellers just never took the offers. Uh, I mean, everything was on at or above list price and they never took it and then eventually they took it off the market and they slapped it back on the market at $35,000 higher, right? So I guess that's why they never took those offers, right? They listed it and I guess they had second thoughts and realized that they didn't want to sell it for that price. Even though you're in Ventura County, brother, even though you don't think that there's cheaper real estate than this or that you can't lose on this deal at 125 dollars I, I don't think it's the right deal for you, right? 
It made sense back then. I don't think it makes sense currently. I think we can do better for you, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the footage from that episode, 600-something episodes ago. That's my thoughts on the property, but it's got to be priced like that. I don't want you coming up paying 125 So if you want, we could put in an offer uh, at whatever you want, uh, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere unless you want to overpay, which is paying 125 and I don't think you should do that, and that's what I'm here for, right? So you let me know your thoughts now uh, after that, and we could either put in a pro uh, an offer on this in the 90s, we could do it in the 80s, we could do it at 125 if you really want, or we could move on and get you some other deals, man. You tell me what you want to do after you watch that footage. <laughs> What this is, is 3029 West 104th Cleveland 44111, solid, solid C-class neighborhood, right? Listed at 89.9. We got two tenants, each tenant paying $750 in the units, man. Everything's already done. It's all done, guys. You don't have to do anything, right? It's got the gray walls. It's got the hardwood floors. It's neutral. It's clean. It's crisp. We got the white paint every which way, right? You know, sometimes we don't have to go through all the effort of a big old rehab. We got the modern kitchen. We even got the, like, you know, fancy, I don't know, reclaimed wood or whatever the hell you want to call that. You know, I'm, people love that crap, right? It's, it's great. It, it's all done, right? You don't have to do anything. This this thing is just ready uh, for you to start making money. They even placed the tenants. They placed them at seven fifty. Okay, so just a, a solid deal, solid investment. Which, by the way, if, if you're noticing, there's no garage in Cleveland itself, guys. That's not a big deal. It's very common for these multifamily homes not to have a garage, right? It does not affect your rentability. Uh, it does not affect your vacancy, and it does not affect your resale value. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at HoltonWise.com. <laughs> so if you're like, oh man, I want to spend 20K to put a garage in there and then resell the property. You, know, you don't want to do that, bro, because you know it's worth 89 right now. And if you put a garage in there, even though you spent 20K in that garage, it's still going to be worth 89. There's no real value to the garage. Uh, so just a little tidbit there, right? So with all that, John, this deal, this one's going to fly. If you want to buy this deal, you're going to have to pay 89 because other people are going to want it because the numbers are so good, right? With that 1500 a month coming in, I anticipate spending approximately half of that, right? 742 out the door, leaving 752, 748 out the door, rather, leaving 752 coming in the door, right? That's approximately 9 Gs a year if you bought it at list price, which is 89.9, which is absolutely what this thing's worth, dude. That's a 10 cap, and you have $30,000. You only need to spend 22 and a half, and that should net you an estimated annualized performance of 25% cash on cash return, right? After you pay for all your expenses, after you pay for my team to manage the asset, after you pay off your mortgage, which remember, some of that mortgage payment is actually going towards your, uh, your, your principal, right? You're paying that money to yourself. It's going to net you in your pocket a 25% return on your money. And if I can take your attention back to the estimates of expenses, right? Repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? 900 a year for each of those three items. Those are not necessarily things you're spending right now. That's a lot of money that's going in your pocket right now, right? You don't have to worry about vacancy and non-payment when you got two current paying tenants in there at 750 a piece. That's you saving that money for issues down the road because eventually you'll get non-payers, eventually you'll do evictions. Capital expenditures, that's you saving for when you have to redo that roof. Roofs last 30 years in the Cleveland market. And on a property like this, they're probably about 8 Gs, right? Furnaces last 30 years as well, approximately. They cost three grand. You got two in this property. Hot water tanks, you got to do those about every 15 years. Those cost a grand, right? So you're saving 
that $900 towards those big expenses. You don't got to worry about it now because we got a renovated house. But eventually you're going to have to deal with that, right? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.